Hey there everyone, Mazarok here, and today we're going to be talking about MDT routing got, uh, routing, and all that kind of fun stuff. We got a brand new Mythic Dungeon Pool being released today. Eight new dungeons, so a lot of us tanks are going to have to try and figure out guides real quick. So I want to go over some of the few things that I've learned along my ways of kind of making routes and things like that and trying to figure them out early on. And some of the questions you need to be asking yourself when you're making routes or when you're kind of doing things... You know like that before we do get into it though please do like comment subscribe go such a long way to helping out the channel thank you so much everyone i'm a full-time streamer now need all the love and support we can get uh there's a patreon link down below as well if you wish to support me directly have early access guides early access tank tank club stuff youtube all of it check that down below there is merch as well you can get your t-shirts i've got more merch on the way we're just kind of designing some new stuff and things like that um also discord Check it, check me out down below for there. Come join a wonderful community full of great people. And Twitch, come watch me stream. We've got Twitch drops online. There's a mount being dropped uh, for four hours of view time. So come check that out on a twi on my on my Twitch. Uh, that is given away by WoW. I'm just gotta make sure that your account, WoW account, your Blizzard account, is uh, linked to your Twitch account. But watch any WoW WoW streamer, bam. And you get them out. All right, so MDT. What is MDT? It is Mythic Dungeon Tool. So let's get away from Halls of Infusion because I hate it so much. <laughs> so when designing a route, plain and simple, a route, a route. I am Canadian, so I may mispronounce some things from time to time, uh, given how we like our aboots and abouts, right? So the first thing I have to say is keep it simple. Try to keep it as press W as possible. Everyone's learning what to do. So this is Mythic Dungeon Tools. You pull up the dungeon that you want, and then you can be like, bing, bang, done. This is the pull I want to do. You add a second pull, bing, bang. I don't know if this is accurate, by the way. I'm just pulling mobs. I can't quite see them. But one of the things that you can do is you can right click on a mob and see what they have for spells, right? You can link the spells, see what they have, stealth detect, and all of that kind of fun stuff if you need to be worried about certain things hey i saw this what exactly does it do and you can go around and pick them off one by one now this is still in the process of updating so not everything might be crystal clear there just was some dungeon tuning as well so give it a couple of days so the first few days of patches sometimes the information that's given to you in the link spells is a little wrong um just because, you know, they can only update so fast. These people are doing miracle works with what they have. And these sorts of tools are incredibly useful to us tanks when trying to figure everything out. But number one is keep it simple. Let's say, and the next one is, let's say you have a pull like this, right? And you take big damage. It doesn't go well. Something needs kicked, whatever. Ask yourself, what what was it that went off that I need to be worried about? What can I do as a tank to stop certain incoming damage, certain avoidable damage? Is there something that needs to be stopped? Is there maybe something here that I don't want to pull in this because it's making this worse, right? There's a lot of things to be looking at when you're kind of pulling into this here. Another thing is, is there a dispel required? Curse, poison, disease. What is it magic dispel? Is it something the healer needs to be off of? Or is it something that I as the tank can help out with? Um, is this purgeable? Is my blood elf purge going to be useful here? If I'm a vengeance demon hunter, is my purge going to be useful here? Because there were some mobs, especially in like Azure Vaults, Ruby Life Pools, Not Good Offensive, that purges were incredibly good to have on and bosses as well so this is something that you can be like there's no purges there's no dispels and there's not many priority kicks in here maybe i can bring in another pack of mobs in here and be fine right but if there's a lot of things you might want to kind of even think about taking some mobs out and doubling or tripling it in a different way right there's a lot of different ways to kind of look at it, but that's the things you want to be asking yourself. What needs to be kicked? What needs to be stopped? What needs to be purged or dispelled? These are things that you need to think about as a tank, right? Where do you want your lust timings up next? So maybe you want to go through and make your route, come up here, grab everything and do the first boss, and this is where you're committing your first lust. Okay, perfect. Up next, we go down, we jump down, we do the whole thing here. And we come around here we're not going to have lust for here but maybe by the time we get to the chambers is this where we want to commit our lust and do we have enough trash to get lust on the last boss these are things to also stop and consider 
along the way as you get a little bit better at it. But when you're designing, you keep it simple. Keep it as W as possible with as few skips as possible. Sometimes there is no... You quite literally have to just skip. You don't have a choice. You have to. Um, oh man, do I have to... like? I yeah, we erase all of that. We'll do that a little bit later. <laughs> and these are things that you can stop. But one of the things, especially when you're pugging, is... Honestly, pugs aren't naturally great at skips especially when you're learning a new dungeon not everyone's aware where the mob the stealth detect mobs are not everyone knows how to skip properly i've been doing the, these keys for quite a few years now and trust me i have seen all manner of fails on skips and if you're in an organized group or if you're in a pug group those are things that matter can you set up a kick rotation with your friends or the few friends that you're running with and that you're pugging the difference because if you can't it might make some pulls a lot easier and some pulls a lot difficult because in the first few weeks of us running these dungeons not everyone's gonna know what to kick yet right we're in the last i, I just i still been running keys for the last two weeks it's monday night May 8th as I'm recording this and I still see people in pugs that have no idea what to kick, no idea to kick, that end up with one or two on an entire dungeon run because they just don't use it. This is the start of the season. Things are going to be worse for that. So keep it as simple as possible. Try and double and triple where you can. Experiment. But remember the names of what you see so let's say you put you pulled um let's say you pulled these two wardens here uh these ore elementals and let's say you did this first pull here and everything went great you had no problem maybe you can pull this in as well like maybe that's not a problem for you guys but maybe try here see what happens and the next time you run to go here it's always good to experiment in the early stages of keys see how kind of big you can go without pushing it too much but also feeling confident that if you just took out one mob you would absolutely have like one pa uh pull sorry like one pack that you would have no problems doing it if you are confident that you can go into whatever key level you're doing and pull all three of these and you will nail it every single time add another one see and see how that works right and i've seen a lot of people what they do is they do this right not necessarily for an Altharis. The point is sometimes they're like, okay, we can do these three. Now it's time to add all of these. And that's way too much for kind of the normal people that play WoW, right? Sometimes it works. Most of the time it will fail disastrously. As a tank, practice getting your confidence with adding one. And then adding another. And then adding another if that's what you can. And if there's a point where you're like, I have to commit X defensives here just to be able to get through this. That's kind of, you know, where... Your gear limitations are where they're at, and that you should not be pulling any more there, depending on whatever tank spec you are playing. There are some tank specs that will make things a lot easier for you, right? There are some, I have noticed that there are some pulls that my bear does really well, and I have a problem with it on Paladin, and I actually have to commit defensives where bear, I'm kind of just sitting on bark skin, and I'm fine. And, but there's the next pull where that flips around. Where, you know, Paladin, I don't need to commit an offensive, and I'm Gucci, and I'm good to go, and then Bear, I'm struggling a little bit more. And you can say that about X-Tank on anything at all. You know, I've been playing all six tanks for months now, and I'm going to be going strong with all six tanks this season. Right off the get-go, we're going to be doing keys on all six tanks. So come join me on stream while we figure out and we design these routes, because there was just some dungeon tuning and count changes and everything like that, which is why I always kind of avoid doing these things until we get to the point where like hey okay we actually have to do some dungeon count here and be like okay it's cool because we just had some tunings past tonight but those are kind of the quick things remember the remember the basics keep it simple are you pugging are you in an organized group because that will change the difficulty curve towards what you're doing if you're in comms or not if you know the people you are not then What's the kick? What's the what's the kick priority? What's the stop priority? CC stuns, things like that. Is there dispel uh, dispel a purge? What needs to be done here along the lines, and then try and design it here. Because if you have a pull that has one dispel, 
one purge, one priority kick, and one priority stop, let's say. Let's say that's your pull. I'm not saying that's it for Neltharis, by the way. I'm just trying to do this to make an example. You can be like, those are all easily doable. One person in each thing can easily have this job, and this four pull is easily accomplished. See what I'm saying? And that's kind of coming from knowing the dungeon. Experiment a little and have some fun. I really, really like doing this. This is one of my favorite parts is being a tank. It's kind of sitting here for time to time, seeing what I can do to optimize and make some better routes along the way that are incredibly pug friendly. Uh, in the last couple weeks, I have been getting people that are like, message me, healers, DPS are like, great tanking, super smooth run. They message me after the fact and they're like, this is the smoothest run I've had for a couple of weeks. Thank you so much. Like, you know. And sometimes it's literally on how you design the route. That is it for today. I hope you guys are excited for Season 2 as much as I am. Have yourself a good one. Thank you very much for listening, everyone. Happy tanking. Catch you on stream. Bye.